Hi guys, this is Connie, back for some more Connie Reads Crenshaw. This is chapter two. Here's the thing, I'm not an imaginary friend kind of guy. Seriously, this fall I go into fifth grade. At my age, it's not good to have a reputation for being crazy. I like facts, always have. True stuff, two plus two equals four facts. Brussels sprouts taste like dirty gym socks facts. Okay, maybe that second one's just an opinion. And anyway, I've never eaten a dirty gym sock, so I could be wrong. Facts are important to scientists, which is what I want to be when I grow up. Nature facts are my favorite kind, especially the ones that make people say, no way. Like the fact that a cheetah can run, that a cheetah can run 70 miles per hour, or the fact that a headless cockroach can survive for more than two weeks. Or the fact that when a horned toad gets mad, it shoots blood from its eyes. I want to be an animal scientist. I'm not sure what kind. Right now I really like bats. I also like cheetahs and cats and dogs and snakes and rats and manatees. So those are some options. I like dinosaurs too, except for them all being dead. For a while, my friend Marisol and I both wanted to be paleontologists and search for dinosaur fossils. She used to bury uh, chicken bone leftovers in her sandbox for digging practice. Marisol and I started a dog walking service this summer. It's called Sea Spot Walk. Sometimes when we're walking dogs, we'll trade nature facts. Yesterday, she told me that a bat can eat 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour. Facts are so much better than stories. You can't see a story. You can't hold it in your hand and measure it. You can't hold a manatee in your hand either. But still, stories are lies when you get right down to it. And I don't like being lied to. I've never been much into make-believe stuff. When I was a kid, I didn't dress up like Batman or talk to stuffed animals or worry about monsters under my bed. My parents say, when I was in pre-K, I marched around telling everybody I was the mayor of Earth. But that was just for a couple of days. Sure, I had my Crenshaw phase, but lots of kids have an imaginary friend. Once, my parents took me to see the Easter Bunny at the mall. We stood on fake grass next to a giant fake egg in a giant fake basket. When it was my turn to pose with the bunny, I took one look at his paw and yanked it right off. A man's hand was inside. It had a gold wedding ring and tufts of blondish hair. This man is not a rabbit, I shouted. A little girl started bawling. The mall manager made us leave. I did not get the free basket with candy eggs or a photo with the fake rabbit. That was the first time I realized people don't always like to hear the truth. And that's the end of chapter two. Be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. And I will see you for the next chapter. Bye.